All right, welcome to a different video. I'm going to do some hiking because it's the first time that um, we've had some good weather this year so far. And um, yeah, the last time I did this, I almost died, literally. Um, but on a serious note, I do want to talk a little bit about uh, investing fees, cost, and the impact that it has on your portfolios. Because I said this recently on a podcast episode. People are kind of woken up to the fact that actually, let's try and keep cost low. Mm. Because, yeah, I mean, if you can, if you can almost double the size of your investment portfolio because you've gone for a low cost option, it's an absolute no brainer. When you think about that over a 20, 25 year investment cycle, yeah. it's, it's huge. It's life changing. And I haven't got around to actually shooting this video just yet. So the numbers might surprise you, but stick with me on this one. I've got my drone with me as well. So we're going to be taking some drone shots. You'll get to see some amazing views at the top. Wish me luck. So uh, we're about 15 minutes into this hike. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little tired. It's been a long time since I've done any of this. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about why costs and fees are important when you're investing. Clearly, if you're investing for a long time, if you're paying fees, that is essentially going to reduce the amount of returns that you're going to get on your investment during your investment term. And so often for first time investors, I was going to say first time buyers, the key is to keep your cost down as low as possible. Now, in testing this theory, I'm going to be comparing Moneybox, Vanguard and InvestNG, looking at the S&P 500 specifically. And you'll be surprised when I tell you what the parameters I've been using are, investing with and without regulars, the difference it actually makes to your investment return over the long term. But with that being said though, in this video, I do want to give the argument as to why maybe paying a little bit extra in fees could be worthwhile if you're a first time investor, particularly if you don't know what you're doing and you don't have the confidence to do it on your own. Right, so we made it to the summit of the Reeking and um, views are beautiful up here. But let's get into um, the impact of costs, fees on your investment portfolio over a period of time. So I've got some notes here, but I will put this up on the, uh, on the screen as well. So I've assumed a £10,000 investment over 25 years, so 25 year term, with an average return each year of 6%. Now, I've done this with regulars and without regulars. So when I say with regulars, this is assuming you're paying £100 per month into the investment pot on top of the £10,000 initial investment as a regular payment. OK, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at two things. We're going to be looking at number one, the fees that you'll pay over the 25 year term. And more importantly, the value of your investment at the end of the 25 year term, assuming you had a 6% return every single year. So we're going to be looking at three providers, Moneybox, Vanguard, Invest Engine. Moneybox because, well, it's the most popular review on this channel. People still ask me whether Moneybox is a good uh, place to start. You can get the S&P 500 uh, with them now. Uh, Vanguard because, well, the VUSA is the daddy. Everybody knows Vanguard for the VUSA. And Invest Engine because you can get the VUSA, the Vanguard S&P 500 fund, even cheaper than if you went to Vanguard because you're not paying the platform fee. So let's start with Moneybox and pay attention to these numbers because they're quite surprising. So the total fees that you're going to pay with Moneybox will be 1.08%. So again, assuming £10,000 originally invested, 25 year term, average return of 6% per year. Now with regulars, so this is £100 per month, you're going to pay total in charges £19,510 across the term. And your investment value at the end of that 25 year term is going to be £91,307. Pounds. It's 91,307. 91, if you did this uh, without regulars, 
you're going to be paying in charges £9,695 and your fund value is going to be about 33224 So just note that. Now let's move on to Vanguard because Vanguard, you're going to get the VUSA. The VUSA. Yes, it's 0.07%, but you're paying other fees on top of that, including the platform fee, which will take your total cost up to 0.27%. Still very, very, very cheap. Now, £10,000, as we've already mentioned, with regulars, so £100 per month with Vanguard, the total charges you'll pay over the term of that investment will be £5,269, and it will give you a fund value, get this, of 105608 That's with regulars. Without regulars, you'll be paying, in terms of charges, £2,651, and your fund value will be 40000 268 so a massive difference between Moneybox and Vanguard now again look at the price difference 1.08 to 2.27 percent when you look at it with regulars I mean the the difference is absolutely it's quite shocking to be honest but let's have a look at invest engine as well so invest engine you can get the VUSA the S&P 500 at 0.07 percent now again ten thousand pounds with regulars will mean that your pay in charge is £1,393 across the term of your investment. That's going to mean that your investment is going to be worth, at the end of the 25-year term, £109,484. And with without regulars, so you weren't paying in the £100, you'll pay £703 in charges, and your investment will be worth £42,000. 216 pounds now i've used an engine and i'll link this down below so you can by all means go and uh, play around with this yourself and see what the numbers are all right now let's have a little chat about the impact of these cost and fees because i think when you look at the numbers in terms of how much is actually going to cost you to use a provider and you perhaps using i don't know invest engine or vanguard where you need a little bit of know-how the numbers can be quite compelling in terms of the decision that you might decide to actually make. Now, let's just go back to, to Moneybox, okay? 1.08%. You are getting their expertise to basically run the portfolio for you. But let's just start with the fact that maybe you do have £10,000 and you do want to pay in £100 per month into the investment to help you grow your pot. Well, what you're seeing here is you're going to be paying £19,500 in fees. £19,500 in fees and ultimately that means that you're going to have £91,000, £91,307 at the end of your 25 year term assuming you get that 6% return right? Pretty decent. But if you go to Vanguard and you have a look at the same plan right with regulars where you're going to be paying about four, well actually quite significantly less with regulars £5,269 in charges and that's going to give you a fund value of £105,000 at the end of your term and assuming you get that 6% return you look at it with with uh, invest engine well 1393 pounds still quite a significant difference right and then you're going to have 109000 pounds at the end of your 6 year term now quite compelling numbers i have to say but the question is should you should you pay the extra fees? Look, I always, I always say this on the channel, and I think it's important. If you're a first time investing, you don't really know how to actually go about picking this stuff. If you look at the S&P 500, you think you have no idea what it means and what companies are in there, and you're not quite comfortable with picking up, say, the VUSA with Vanguard, for example, and you would rather have someone look after it for you, then by all means, you may feel comfortable paying the extra fees. However, what we have been able to demonstrate here is that the cost of those fees are quite, quite expensive. Now, what does it look like in the real world? This is often what I find people do. People may start off with a Vanguard, uh, with a money box, sorry, and they then move on to Vanguard or Invest Engine as they gain confidence as first time investors. There is nothing wrong with doing that. And I think the most important thing to remember here is, if you are just starting out investing, the decision you make in day one is not final. So you can change your mind, you can change providers, you can move your investments, you're not tied. And so if you're a first time investor, you're just getting started and you don't really have that much confidence in the decision making process or you don't necessarily want to be able to monitor, monitor these things on your own because with Vanguard you kind of do, you want to look at it at least every single year. Moneybox, Wealthify, whoever you choose to use is going to do all of that for you. You don't have to worry. So it's a trade-off. There was a saying that we used to use when I worked in Canary Wharf. We always used to say, um, 
cost is only an issue in the absence of value. So the question is, what value does having someone look after and run your investment for you bring to you? If there's value in it, saving you time, taking away a lot of the stress, then you may decide it's the best call for you. If not, and you're happy to just manage it on your own, and you know exactly what you're doing, you don't mind watching some YouTube channels like I've you know, like mine and a lot of videos about, you know, how to monitor and review your investments, then you may decide that you want to take up the lower fees. Either way, there is no right or wrong answer to this. So do what is best for you. That's the most important thing. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for following me up here. It's been an amazing day. Catch you soon.